The following is a paid program. Opinions and views expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of this station. Closed captioning for Off the Beaten Path is brought to you by Oneida Electrical Contractors, Horatio Street, Utica, New York, OneidaElectric.com, a veteran-owned company. When they're in, they're in. We're at Harbor Inn Marina. We're going out with Captain Ben Rogie. Um, going for salmon. The salmon are in thick this year. Everybody's catching them. So he gave us a call, he said, come on up, let's film a trip. So we're heading out. We got Matt with us, we got my son. We got Frankie with us today, he's gonna try to put his first salmon on the boat. And of course, Ian. So uh, let's see how it goes and get on this boat. Get her done. Come on, hand me my sweatshirt up there, Chuck. This is almost like sleeping in, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right? To be there at 5.30. What? 5.30. Woo! <laughs> I thought he was going to tell me to again. Oh, I know. I've been waiting. <laughs> oh, I'll take the 
Camping and Outdoor Sports Show, March 22nd through the 24th, 2019. Registration is now open for vendors. Welcome to FX Caprera Chevrolet, just a short drive up Interstate 81 in Pulaska, New York. With hundreds of new trucks in stock and a great pre-owned selection, you're bound to find what you're looking for. Keep your ride in top-notch shape in their in-house service center. Drive away in your brand new Chevrolet today. FX Caprera Chevrolet, 54 Caprera Drive, Pulaski, New York. FXChevy.com. Prep your hunting season this year with a new Holland tractor. Available at Clinton Tractor and Implement Company. 31 Meadow Street, Clinton, New York. ClintonTractor.net Maybe 600, Ian. Boone and Crockett. All right, here he is, guys. Fish. That's a nice fish. We'll catch him in a couple years. Yep. That's a pound and... Yeah, that's a head shaker there. <laughs> that's a big 
fun. That's a good fish right here, Frankie. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's a lot of them out there, man. Keep putting us on them, man. This is a big one. This is, this is what we're after. Beautiful fish. Wouldn't you be around the tension bass? <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Captain Ben Rogie. He's going to tell us a little bit about what we got going on today on the water and uh, what he offers. Well, basically, we had a phenomenal day fishing for Kings today. Um, it was even better because you guys did very well on the rods. We didn't miss many fish. I think we went, uh, what, how many did we have on the board total? 13? I think 13. 13 for like 15, I think, yeah. total? Oh, 15, 16. So, a very good day. That's good odds. I always say any day you're yeah. doing 50% on Kings is a good day. So. Uh, very tough fish to catch and this time of year we're in July right now It's usually not peak salmon season. We're usually hitting kings along with the lake trout and everything else But uh, this year has just been a banner year and uh, you know We've been fishing kings religiously every single day and we've been putting a lot of them on the boat We haven't touched the lake trout rod in weeks, so mm -hmm. it's just been a great season um, And I think the fall during August and September which would be our you know late summer I should say into fall should be a very good season. That's usually peak season for uh, for king salmon um, and we've been seeing a lot of mature fish, a lot of different year classes of fish. So I think over the next few years, it's going to be, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal fishing out here on Lake Ontario. Is, is so. that primarily what you offer is lakers and skates? Do a little bit of everything, yep. Uh, we'll start off in uh, usually around May. Uh, we'll start with the brown trout, uh, fishing the shallow water. 
for uh, spring browns. You get some steelhead. You will hit some kings as well during during the May season. Uh, we get into early summer, and uh, the warm water fishery starts to turn on. You can get into your walleye, your your smallmouth bass once that starts up in June. Uh, northern pike, pickerel, uh, you know, and then we get into the salmon later in the summer along with our lake trout. Lake trout, we have phenomenal lakers up here out of Henderson, and uh, you know, king salmon through the month of August and uh, and September. So, and usually October, we're, we're getting back into the hunting. So that that's kind of the the season. And, and running out of Henderson here is just a great great harbor to run out of because you have all of that. You have your warm water yeah. fishery, you have your cold water fishery, you know, and you guys experience how good the cold oh, water absolutely. fishery can be. And you've been out there for lake trout before, yeah. so yep. you know what, what, what this lake can yeah. hold. Yep, no, absolutely. But uh, there's a little bit of what Ben offers. Uh, we do some waterfall hunting with Ben also, so check them out. Black River Valley uh, Outfitters and Charters. Check them out on Facebook. You can find them. You can follow us, following him. Again, Thank you very much, Thank man. You. It's Amazing pleasure trip. Having you Thank guys. you. Always. Welcome to Oneida Electrical Contractors. Stop in or give us a call for the NECA IBEW electricians. No job is too big or too small. With satisfaction and peace of mind guaranteed, giving you more time to enjoy the finer things in life. Oneida Electrical Contractors, 5630 Horatio Street, Utica, New York. OneidaElectric.com Welcome to FX Caprera Ford, just a short drive up Interstate 81 in Pulaski, New York. With hundreds of new trucks in stock, you're bound to find what you're looking for. Great pre-owned selection with hundreds to choose from. Full in-house service. Make sure you drive away in your brand new truck today. FX Caprera Ford. 54 Caprera Drive, Pulaski, New York, fxford.com. Have you been lucky enough to harvest a big whitetail or big bear in New York State? Then you need to look at the New York State Big Buck Club, the official record book for New York State's biggest and best whitetails and New York State trophy record bears. Log on to the website where you can locate your local measurer, order record books, and then swing over their Facebook page where you can locate past stories on previous hunts. So log on to NewYorkStateBigBuckClub.com Independent tests confirm that the pins on a black gold are 20% brighter than the next brightest bosite. So bright that we had to use photochromatic technology to dim the pins in bright light. In low light, while the pins on other bosites are growing dim, the pins on a black gold site are still perfectly bright. Be the last one out of the woods at night. Get a black gold sight. The Big Buck Profile is brought to you by the New York State Big Buck Club. Okay, here we are with another beautiful buck being entered in the New York State Big Buck Club book this year. We have uh, Jamie. Yep. Um, tell us a little about your buck. What county, what weapon, uh, and Jeff inches? Jefferson County. Uh, I was killed during the rifle season, the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, 152 and 7 eighths. Wow. Beautiful buck. Nice buck coming out of Jefferson County. Beautiful. That's great. Thank you. Hey, thanks a lot for stopping by and uh, sharing. Thank you. Awesome buck. Nope. To learn more about the New York State Big Buck Club or to order your own record book, go to NewYorkStateBigBuckClub.com. This week on Off the Beaten Path, we're here in Altmar, New York at the Salmon River Fish Hatchery. We are granted access to get behind the scenes and see what really happens with the fish here when they enter the hatchery. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna go inside and check it out. Welcome to the Salmon River Fish Hatchery in Elmar, New York. My name is Tom Kalvasinski. I'm the uh, newly appointed manager of this facility. Today we're taking uh, Chinook uh, salmon eggs. Uh, we're taking about between 550,000 and 750,000 a day for probably the next five or six days for about 3.2 to 3.5 million eggs, um, depending on the year. Uh, today we're, we're bringing the fish in the hatchery and uh, and uh, we're sorting the fish. We're sorting a lot of cohos out as well. Uh, the cohos don't usually ripen until later. Uh, we, 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 we usually wait till about the water temperatures around 58 degrees in the hatchery. 
and then we can do, start with the Chinooks, and uh, we wait till the water's about 55 to do the coho. So we'll pond some coho, we'll put some cohos in tanks or in uh, raceways, and uh, we'll wait till they ripen. Uh, hopefully this week it's going to cool down pretty good, so we should be, be able to do that by the end of the week, maybe. Um, When performance counts, count on Hart Rifle Barrels. HartBarrels.com The Gunworks of Central New York, Verona, New York. Welcome to FX Cabrera Chevrolet. Just a short drive up Interstate 81 in Pulaski, New York. With hundreds of new trucks in stock and a great pre-owned selection, you're bound to find what you're looking for. Keep your ride in top-notch shape in their in-house service center. Drive away in your brand new Chevrolet today. FX Cabrera Chevrolet. 54 Caprera Drive, Pulaski, New York. FXChevy.com. Frank Spartano with Off the Beaten Path. Uh, we're in Pulaski, New York today. We're gonna hit some of the holes here. We're gonna work the river all the way over to the world famous Tailwater Lodge and uh, do a little working, a little walking today. But the salmon are in, so. He went in the drink. <laughs> this cooking segment is brought to you by Tailwater Lodge on the famous Salmon River in Altmar, New York. Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Chef John at Tailwater Lodge in our beautiful tasting room. Um, today what we have for you is some salmon. Uh, what I'm going to do is sear that up and uh, put it in a, in a bowl and mix it with some other ingredients, some of them cooked, some of them not, and make uh, some nice salmon cakes and sear them piece of salmon I filleted open. Really, what you're trying to achieve is just to get it fully cooked. Okay, I've got some nice browning going on. 
And almost with any fish, once you turn it over on that second side of the sear, you're within seconds of it being done. Okay, that's just cooked. So I have a bowl here. And I'll put that cooked salmon in the bowl. And then in the same pan, we've got some beautiful flavor going on. So why not cook your, your ingredients that you don't want raw, cook them right in here and get that salmon flavor up off the pan. So I have just a little bit of finely chopped onion and garlic, a touch of garlic. You know, it's maybe a quarter cup of onion to a half a teaspoon of garlic. You don't want a lot. It's just an enhancer. You don't want it to be the flavor. So what I'm doing here is, as the moisture cooks out of those vegetables, it helps pull up that, what we call fawn, which is that brown stuff in the bottom of the pan. Some people think that's garbage. That's where all the flavor is. All right, that's beautiful. So I'll put those in this bowl as well. So as it stands right now, I've got this sauteed garlic, onion, celery, busting up that salmon a little bit. So as with any good cake, like you eat a good crab cake or something from uh, Maryland, um, it's almost always got mayonnaise in it. That's a key ingredient. Don't use a cheap mayonnaise. It's not worth it. So I have an egg here, because that's, that's gonna be my crunch in there. And I'll take this egg and mayonnaise and just kind of mix it together in a corner. So a little bit of cayenne pepper, be really careful with this. Maybe a third of a teaspoon there. A quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. Call them Japanese breadcrumbs too. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm getting a pan ready to go to make these salmon cakes. And I've made one, but I want to show you exactly how we do it. I don't, again, I don't want to mush it, but you got to pack it pretty good. You know, maybe the size of a, the amount of a good size meatball. I'm putting a, it's almost like a pan fry. So you want a good amount of fat in here. You can use a, like I always use a flavored um, garlic oil, but you can use maybe a clarified butter. It's going. You kind of want it to be, the oil to be about a third way up the, uh, the cakes. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. So this is, you know, a shallow fry. It's gonna take about uh, maybe three to four minutes on each side to get nice and brown. All right, we're just about there. Gonna let these drain. Nice and brown. Made some flavored mayonnaise here. It's just got a little bit of garlic and some tomato in it and basil. Just gonna put a dab of that on top. It's just an accompaniment, I don't want. A little red here in the corner for color. Voila, we take, we take some salmon pieces that we got out of the lake. We make these beautiful cakes out of it. There we are. Not too bad at all. The proceeding is a paid program of Off the Beaten Path Media.